Well, here we arrive in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Hey, I'm the Dr. Pryor. Thanks for watching this morning's video. Could, of course, guess it could be the afternoon or the evening or the middle of the night when you're watching this video. Whichever. Thanks for watching. So we took off from Rogers, Arkansas on a perfectly clear morning. And you can see the arrival here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Hot Springs sits around kind of a, a bowl area. There's some mountains in that area. And this morning, it decided to fog itself right over. We had no opportunity to land. You can see the arrival here and how well it's going, and it's not going that well, obviously. We tried and tried and tried. We flew around this area for quite some time, 15 minutes or so, looking for any breaks in the clouds, seeing if I could see the runway spot, at least part of the runway, and find an area to land. We also thought, well, possibly if we flew around and wait a little bit, it'll move off a little bit. And it just never, never did. It was a beautiful morning, beautiful morning. But you can see from this video, you can't even identify structures through that fog. It's so foggy. Visibility was less than a quarter of a mile, and it was at 100 feet, which this particular airport, Cahot, Arkansas, has a ILS landing, but those are below minimums for that, which would make that highly illegal. So we could not land. So what do you do in a situation like this? Well, you divert. The controller looked for some airports within about 50 nautical miles, and he found one to the west of Hot Springs, Arkansas, which uh, was a little airport I had never landed at before. Um, and it did not have any particular good uh, characteristics in terms of RNAV, ILS, or whatever. So I've started looking around myself, and I found in North Little Rock area, there's an airport called K-O-R-K, -K, North Little Rock. Um, I've flown into that airport many times. It's on the north side of, of Little Rock, Arkansas, uh, right next to one of the Air Force bases. Now, the odd thing is, Little Rock, municipal, or not municipal, but international airport, Little Rock International Airport, was completely fogged in as well but North Little Rock was not. So we were flying around, flying around, trying to find any opportunity to land in Hot Springs and just none presented itself. So we decide we'll just take the diversion and we divert to North Little Rock. Now it was only about 40 miles away, so by plane it didn't take us very long to get there. But we were able to land, refuel, wait about 15 or 20 minutes, by the time we were able to get back in the air and head to Hot Springs, Arkansas, it had cleared up dramatically in Hot Springs and allows us to go ahead and land and go see our patients for the day. This was a work trip flight. We were flying down with two other nurses this morning and we were going to work. So basically it put us about an hour behind on the day in terms of seeing patients, but thankfully we called them when we landed in Little Rock and were able to move their appointments back a little bit. And didn't mess up anybody's day too badly for that. But again, you cannot land legally in these types of conditions, nor would you want to. I don't care how experienced you are. Hot Springs, Arkansas airport is surrounded by mountains. And if you get down and try and get up real quick and get disoriented, you are in big, big trouble. So I do not recommend it. So we're headed over to North Little Rock airport here at this point in time. We're gonna land there stop and refuel and reassess our situation. Well, here we are flying into the North Little Rock Airport and you can clearly see there's still patchy fog everywhere. To the right is Little Rock itself completely covered. Straight ahead and to the left, you can see the Air Force Base and the Marine Base completely covered. But that little clear opening in the middle, that's North Little Rock Airport. Thankfully, with having great controllers out of Little Rock Air, um, International Airport and having Sirius XM weather radio in our aircraft, we could see up-to-date cloud and fog coverages, which allowed us the opportunity to come in here and land. If this fog had been all over this completely area, we'd be in some trouble right now. So the odd thing is, for flight planning purposes, None of this was predicted. None of this fog was predicted. I've been coming down to this particular clinic for six years and have never run into a situation like that. 
Of course, I did all the pre-flight planning you can possibly do, and this fog was not listed or predicted. But it is what it is. You've got to be able to adjust. You've got to be able to communicate. You've got to be able to aviate and do all those kinds of things that make you a pilot. Working with ATC is one of the best tools you can utilize for piloting, and they are there to help. They are there to make you safe. They are there to make everybody else safe. So use them. Use them. You can see kind of like a parting in the Red Sea, this particular airport just appears. This is a great little airport. I've flown in here many, many times. Um, it's kind of funny. They used to have an old, I think it was an old, some sort of Cadillac. Uh, I called it a pimp mobile as the FBO car. So the free FBO car, you could fit 10 bodies in the trunk of that thing. Just unbelievable. And it had ashtrays in the door, which my teenage son at the time had no idea what they were even for. Kind of funny. But a great little two-runway airport here. Um, they, uh, they provide a lot of great services, and we certainly appreciate them. So we made our landing, and we taxi out, and then we're able to park and refuel. Thanks for watching this video, and please like and subscribe. Share this video with friends and family. Our love for aviation is the reason we do these videos, and certainly a video like this that shows a diversion due to a fog event that was unexpected and unforecast could be a learning tool for a lot of pilots out there. Hopefully you've learned a little something. I know I certainly did, and I can appreciate the tools that ATC provides us and the help that they give. So shout out to those guys. Thanks for watching. Once again, please like and subscribe. Share these videos with family and friends. This is the Dr. Pilot. We'll see you next time.